eyewitnesses say the incident occurred at around 4 a.m. on Thursday. Richmond Dankwa, one of the passengers in the commercial vehicle that was involved in the incident, has been narrating what happened to City News. I was around about na domnem so bi o ma mo so be si ran about ntia ka chire mate ni ni se ran about o mo no aso we ya na driver na start the prayer break a prayer break and a break ni feel e ntia try say call the full pavement no obo pavement ni mo na a divert here no dey ni hwe be be adwade for no wono ntia to answer we are e bo ni pa mensa ama ba akoko she ka na se na me no aka no so kokun chen na ye so e so kan mu ni page a e page a e yi woman na no sha se no aye mre Near Rossi, I do me and Senna, a quarter Fuji. Tafuji, Nianity, if you said the Norsaka and Asenadia, why in your media. Police sources and authorities at the Tafu Government Hospital have confirmed the incident to City News. The hospital is, however, calling on the public to help identify the deceased person. Ninfa Samwa is a nurse at the Tafu Government Hospital. One had some minor injuries, so the person had already been seen and sent to. There is one currently on admission. You know, we have to take some x rays to make sure there's nothing seriously wrong. But the third patient unfortunately lost her life. Unfortunately, again, we have no relatives, so we don't have much information about her. So we are seriously and, you know, wanting relatives to come and then confirm. We are at Tafo Hospital, Tafo Government Hospital, emergency unit. So if any member or if anyone has lost their relatives or someone has gone out and has not yet returned home, please and please, we are asking that the person should come or any person. The police are also involved now. So if the person comes, they can go to Swami Police Station and then back to Tafo Government Hospital. City News checks reveal that the driver of the vehicle has been detained by the Swami District Police Command as the police have commenced investigations into the incident. Meanwhile, some traders who sell by the roadside around Swami Runabout have admitted the risk involved in selling them. They, however, argue that they have nowhere to ply their trade, hence they are resolved to sell by the roadside. Some of them who spoke to City News, however, say they are willing to move to a market if provided by authorities. For now, until authorities put measures in place to address trading activities just by the roadside, the lives of traders and their customers will continue to be at risk. For Stinis, Fatih Amin Ibrahim, Swamran so about.